Now we will going to learn how you link documents in HTML. That technology was introduced in the early 1990s, so roughly around 1991. Uh, the idea behind that was before that you would able to you were able to work with several documents, but you were not able to link them. For example, the capability that you will see on the website that you see like a text, and then you click on the text the text links you to another resource or a web page or an image or a video that capability is basically called the linking so originally when this idea was introduced back in 1991 uh, you could only do that with text you couldn't do that with images so it was HTML was still in its infancy so that idea of you being able to click on a text and it is linking you to another resource that's basically called hypertext okay and since HTML is a markup language so it uses a markup tag a which is short for anchor so basically what you're doing is when you're clicking on a hypertext you're making your current resource anchor into another resource so we're going to be putting together a couple pages and we're going to link them once you learn how to link a couple pages you can link a million pages so we would now like to create another page here so i'll start a new document for now i'll save this document and we're going to call this one just like we call the first one first html we're going to call this one second HTML page and we're gonna save it under the extension of .htm now what we're gonna do is I'll, I'll take the entire content from the first page I'm copying it I'm pasting it onto the second page I'm gonna make some necessary changes so that you could see the difference between the two pages So I've just made some basic changes between the two pages just so that you can um, see the difference. I'm going to make a change to the comment up here. Okay. So now I have saved two pages. Now we'll, to link page number one to page number two, that will be a one-way handshake. Then I would have to come to page number two and link it back to page number one. When we are doing professional website, we basically develop a navigation bar. So in the navigation bar, we would like to make sure that that will allow them to link all these different pages together. So we're going to be learning about navigation bars later on. But for now, we'll just learn a simple way to link two pages. So I'll be going into my first HTML page. I'll choose a nice location. What I'm going to do is right after my HR, and this is the same place I'm going to do that in my second page. I'm going to just come up with this A, which is my anchor tag, and it has a property called href, which stands for hypertext reference. So basically, I'm creating a reference from my current page and anchoring into another page which is my reference so since this is a hypertext reference that means you are clicking to get to the other source that's why the property is called href so now I'm gonna name I'm gonna use the name along with the extension of my reference or my uh, resource where I would like to link to so the name of that resource that I would like to link to is called second HTML page dot htm now I'm going to show you something I have purposely written an incomplete code so that I I can show you uh, my next step and the reason behind it so if you notice I have written a an anchor which allows me to link this page to the next page so if I run my code as it is notice what happens if I run it as it is so the page will going page will going to launch in Firefox however I don't see any link you know this is where the link was supposed to appear after HR before personal information there is no page that I could see, no link that I could see over here the reason is because a also requires me to put some text between the opening and closing a and the text that you put between the opening a and the closing a is the text that echoes onto the web page 
Now, for those of you who are interested in making a picture as a link, all you need to do is put an IMG tag with a source in here just to show you. And whatever picture you put in the source, now that picture appears in this spot and it becomes a clickable link. So since I would only like to put a text item here, so I'm going to just call this one uh, second page. Okay, so now after I save this, I would now like to go under Run, and I would now like to go under Launch in Firefox, and here you see the link. If I click on it, it links me to a second page. Now on my second page, I don't really have any way to go back to the first page because I did not create a link. So as I said earlier, it's a two-way connection that you have to establish. And you should avoid the situation that you can go from one resource to another when you're within your website. But when you get to the second resource, there is no way to get back to the first one without hitting the browser button, back button. So we must always try to avoid that situation. So I'm going to close my uh, Firefox web browser here. I'll go back to my page. And I'll take this code, this line that I've written out here, okay, which is the anchor tag. I'll copy this line. I'm going to go to my second page. And in the same spot, right above the personal information, I'm going to just put it out here. But this time, I would like to link it to my first page. So therefore, I'm changing the linking title to first page. And I'm also changing my href, which is hypertext reference, to the first page resource. So now if I go under Run and I click OK, Launch in Firefox, and here we go. On the second page, we have a link called first page. So if I click on it, it takes me to the first page. On the first page, I have a link called second page. If I click on it, it takes me to the second page. So now I have linked the two pages. Now a couple of things I'm going to do to beautify these links that we do. I'm going to start with one page. I'm going to then copy those properties over. So this time, let's say if I would like to start with page two. Something that you may see websites doing is they may put this kind of a symbol around, you know, just for the heck of it, just to beautify the link and just to make it look a little bit more catchy. So if I now go to run and launch in Firefox, you notice there appear a square bracket, okay? However, the square bracket is not underlined. That means they're not clickable because if you go back and look at the way I wrote it here, I wrote it outside the anchor tag. So when I wrote it outside the, when I write it outside the anchor tag, so it is not inside the anchor tag, so it's not clickable. So anything that you will write between the opening and closing of A, only that stuff is clickable. Anything that you may write outside, even on the same line, would not take the properties of anchor. So now I can go back to my first page and I can do the same. I can put here and this and I can put it here this okay now let's see so if I go back to the browser okay this is my second page here's my link to first page I click on it here I am on the second page with the same two square brackets around I click on it I go back to the second page so both links have the similar look and feel and that is also one of the things that you must maintain whenever you create a website that your navigation should have similarity. It shouldn't be like this on one page you have your navigation on the left, on the other page you change it to right, and then you change it to the top. That confuses the user. So you must maintain some common standards when you are linking these pages together. So now what I will going to do next is I'm going to go back to my first HTML page and I would now like to move this comment, this link in the center, right underneath the picture, under the line, okay? Now we have learned about this in the past, that how do we go about centering? We use the um, align uh, text align property of the CSS, and that allows us to center the text. But we would now like to utilize another tag over here, the div. The div is like a paragraph, but the main difference between div and the paragraph, it creates a block structure, but unlike paragraph, it doesn't leave that kind of a space above and below. It doesn't leave those kind of spaces. It's an extremely cool thing to be using in design. So in, create, in order to create a single line, no spacing around block. So we would like to use div over here. And I wanna make sure that my square brackets are in the div, because what happens is, 
whatever is in the div, it wants to make sure that appears on a line by itself. Anything that is outside of the div, it automatically pushes it or leaves it up, moves it down. Uh, whatever is after div gets moved down. Whatever is before div gets moved up. So div would like to occupy the entire line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go under the div and I'm going to write my CSS property, which is text align center. So now I'm going to go back to the Firefox and voila, here it is. Here is the link right in the center of the page. Okay. So now what I would like to do is I would now like to apply the same property to my second page. So I will going to now simply take this code from here. Okay. I'll copy it, go to the second page and paste it. Now since we are using a text editor, that's why we have to do it this way. Now there are much better editors that you could be using, but you must use something like this in the beginning that will going to help you learn how to code. So now if I go back to the Firefox, so here I am in my browser. So if I click here, that takes me to the second page. If I click here, that takes me back to the first page. And this is what I was talking about earlier. So when I'm clicking, I haven't finalized my click yet. So this is called an active link. So the color is red. When I let go, then it moves me to another resource and changes the link's color to a purple. And when the link has never been visited before, the color of it is blue. Well, that's all for now. We're going to catch you in the next tutorial with some more information about how you go about linking your documents.